Congratulations. I didn't realize until I uh, hit 50 that uh, the biggest disease we have is called aging. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we have Anthony back. Hi, Anthony. How you doing? Hi, good. How you feeling? I'm doing good. Yeah, good. yeah. Good. Yeah, it's been two weeks now since our last debridement. It looks really good. A lot smaller now, about half the size here. And then this one is completely closed. This was seeping some pus last time, but it looks really good. I'm gonna clean all of this out, and then we're gonna put some padding on his shoes, and then uh, let it heal. So how's how's everything? You're doing some diet change? Oh yeah, You're yeah. eating some better was, stuff? Uh, You're already eating some good stuff anyways, right? Yeah, I, I was reading your book. Oh yeah, yeah, how's, and, and how's my book? How am I doing the book? The book is good and I put the book down Uh huh. and, uh, and I went to Ontario to work. Uh huh. And I come back, my girlfriend said, you know what, uh, you won't be getting that book back. It's at work, I'm gonna be reading it. I'm like... Really? She took it, yeah, took so my she, book? Because well, she worked, she has her own barbershop. So in the daytime when ain't nobody there, she's like, I can sit here and read the book. I'll tell oh, you really? It. Okay. And she's like, yeah, I see some interesting things on food and stuff that I didn't know. I said, that's kind of why he gave me the book, because a lot of things I didn't know. Uh -huh. She take, I said, no, you need to bring the book back. So when I'm sitting here, there ain't nothing on TV that's good. I can sit here and read the book. Uh -huh. So yeah, we, she looked at the book. We made uh, quite a few changes. We had some. <laughs> Sweet, right? Some sweet drink. She gave that to the granddaughter. She said, well, she can drink that sugar. She's 21. She don't go to the gym and burn it off anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, get that to her. I think I'm going to just start making myself, I make myself drink more water now. Yeah, like soda pop? She was doing soda pop? Yeah, I, I just dropped that. Like, man, the guy like, man, you don't, uh, you don't eat all that? Nah, man, I'm trying to be, trying to keep what toes I got. I got nine. Yeah, I yeah. I ten no more. I said, so I got to watch what I eat. Right, right. They be teasing me, so, oh man, look at them donuts, man. These donuts are good, don't you? Know? <laughs> like, no, I don't want no donuts. Right, right. Do so, donuts kind of. I'm gonna watch you guys uh, get y'all toes cut off. Right, right. Yeah, well, man, you. Uh, I said, yeah, you gotta. You try to say, yeah, man. You get old, you gotta change your diet. Yeah, well, you gotta. You gotta be careful because your body's not the same, you know. Mm -hmm. We do. We do get older. I tell all my patients. I didn't realize until I uh, hit 50 that uh, the biggest disease we have is called aging. <laughs> 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 you cannot win the game either. Everybody's mm -hmm. going that direction and I've been fighting it for many years, but it's hard to get rid of it completely. So you just need to slow it down with all the natural good food and then, you know, good lifestyle, right? Mm -hmm. Those guys be like, man, I said, man, I ain't never had no blood pressure problem in my life. One of the guys said, yeah, you never been 59 before in your life have you? <laughs> okay, then answer that question. Right, right. Well, Anthony was sharing with me earlier before the we started filming that he was a football player and then he messed up your knees, right? You see? Yeah, I blew my, I screwed my knee up after high school I was playing a basketball game and they was, the, uh, was playing at the college uh -huh. during the summer and they had a rubber floor. I don't like the rubber floors. Oh, rubber floors? The, the least little sweat. Uh-huh. Oh, it's slippery. It, it makes your shoe, no, it makes your shoe bite. Oh, and really? I, I came around and I put my foot down flat, and when uh -huh. I turn it, I hit a car that's popping the top. Oh, wow. And I'm like, hey, man, time out, time out. The guy said, yeah, yeah, I heard you pop. So your knee, knee went out? Yeah, I took the car, I went and sat on the bench for about five or 10 minutes. My leg was swollen up, my leg was shaking. Oh, really? Oh, wow. So, man, I didn't toast up. When I got ready to stand up, this I couldn't straighten this out. I had to hop all the way to the car with one leg. Oh, and wow. That took me about, I went to several doctors now. I got to go in there and eventually. Uh, so they have, to, they have to replace the joint, they say? Well, that's what they recommended when I was 35. But 35? And the guy, like, he said, I recommend it, but just have it scoped and cleaned out. And then when you get older, you might want to have a replacement. I know two ladies that had a replacement, and uh, I don't know. And then I Googled it on my phone, and I got to see them do it. Uh huh. You got scared, huh? Yeah, I'm like, I don't, <laughs> know, I don't know about It's a that. big surgery. I might have to ride this one here to the grave. And right, then, right. This weekend, this is the good one. This started hurt. Is that right? And I'm like, yeah, I was okay. I can't complain, getting old. You want me to make a recommendation on that? Hmm. So, what people don't know is you need more collagen that replaces your joints okay your cartilage and then your joint fluid and all of mm -hmm. that is made of 
collagen, which is a gelatinous material that's like an aloe vera. You know, when you cut yourself, you, you put aloe vera, right? Yeah, like aloe vera plant, yeah. So it's it's that gelatinous, like a gooey material, which is what your body's made of. 80% of your protein is that gelatinous material that your body really needs, but unfortunately we're not consuming enough of it to rebuild your cartilage and your joints. Mm -hmm. I've had literally patients and I put them on a uh, bone broth soup, you know, like chicken soup, mm -hmm. like beef stew, like you boil it for hours and all that bone stuff comes out. Mm -hmm. Guess what? It regenerates your cartilage. Oh, okay. You know the best one? I don't know. Do you go to, um, do you go to Chinese restaurants? Mm -hmm. You do? Okay. If you go to Chinese restaurant, they have this chicken feet. Have you seen them eating that? Yeah, and then people in the south in Mississippi. They eat that? Black people, they eat chicken feet too. Oh, really? Okay, well. I never had none. Exactly. Well, I think it's kind of gross, but from what I hear, I, I never tried it myself. Mm -hmm. I, my, my Chinese friends eat them all the time in front of me, make fun of me, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it myself. But they say, in fact, I have a patient who completely healed from his knee problem. He needed a... Um, um, the whole joint uh, replacement mm -hmm. and then what he did was he would eat chicken feet every day and then it doesn't need the surgery anymore you see and I believe that mm -hmm. because chicken feet have the most car collagen and to rebuild your cartilage so mm -hmm. I highly recommend if you can't have the chicken feet just have bone broth soup very easy just get some bones and then you boil it put some spices in it mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. garlic ginger and then drink it mm -hmm. you can eat, have some meat too but drink two cups every day. That gets you better skin. That's gonna get you better cartilage and joints. It's gonna it's gonna have a better hair. Everything. It just enhances all your cartilage and collagen in your whole system, which is a very important thing that we're not talking about. So oh, okay. it's bleeding a little, so it's when these edges bleed, which means this new cells are gonna come in. So you can see from the last video it's a lot smaller now. So it's about uh, six, seven centimeter, right? I mean, uh, millimeter right now. So okay. I'm gonna block, <clears throat> block that. <clears throat> I'm gonna clean this one a little bit now. This one was seeping a lot. This one's a lot better, almost close. So, so try the bone broth soup. It's gonna heal your gut, heal all your joints, mm -hmm. your skin, your wounds. It's gonna help your wounds right now, this one. Mm -hmm. Cause it needs materials to rebuild to close the skin. Okay. But we're not talking about that. We just keep cleaning. But what we need is your internally, you need more material. You're building a house. You need more materials, right? The right. wood and concrete and all of this stuff. That's what that is. Collagen is very important. I also recommend having some vitamin C with it. I recommend buffer vitamin C, which is like a cement and the collagen is like a bricks. And together, they make the skin most amazingly um, beautiful skin, you see? And you need more materials to be built to close this wound. Okay. So I highly recommend bone broth soup every day. People are concerned about cholesterol and all of that. It's just not true. Just get rid of that sticky stuff on top, which could be a little bit of fat, but you know, you're know, eating a lot of vitamins and minerals and also collagen with that. So mm -hmm. I highly recommend you do that daily and then this will make a huge difference i just need to close this i want this closed within next month or so okay so i know you're an athlete so I'm, i know you want to get back to doing all the stuff right oh yeah yeah so let's do that okay it's going to help not only your cartilage on your on your knees but it's going to help your wounds to heal faster okay you said i need some vitamin c yes vitamin c get a buffer one so it doesn't irritate your stomach because the regular ones can irritate your stomach because it's kind of a little bit acidic but uh, if you can get the buffered one which is already neutralized so it's not uh, too taxing to your um, stomach okay? okay so this one's really good it's healing really well I want this close okay so here's the little picture afterward now we'll take a little picture of the big toe also I'm gonna take a little picture this way okay 
Okay, so I'm gonna put some medicine here and I'm also gonna modify his shoes like last time. Okay. I'm gonna put more pads on the other shoes that you wear as well. So hopefully that'll help even more to take the pressure off of this, this one. Okay, very good. Okay, so any question about the diet or any other issues right now? The orange, the buffer, where would I find that at? Uh, any, any store or, or online, you can get buffer vitamin C. You can get him uh, on any vitamin stores if you want. It'll be at uh, CVS and all those kind of places? Um, I don't recommend going to CVS. Their brand tends to be a little bit too commercialized and they're product may not be as as good so okay. nothing against CVS if you need medication stuff you go to uh, mm -hmm. CVS but I, I recommend going to um, like more organic stores or, or vitamins shop and they should tend to have a little better product okay. not all products from the um, CVS. CVS is bad but uh, all the vitamin stuff I usually recommend now, all more. this stuff that <clears throat> they be Showing and having on Facebook this new treatment for the neuropathy and all of that. Uh -huh. Is that any good or is it just a bunch of bull? <laughs> you have neuropathy too? Yeah. Oh, put it, uh, you don't feel that much? Mm -mm, I can take my shoes off right now. Sometimes I have to look down. Oh, is that right? Well, yeah, yeah, neuropathy is very common. Uh, what they're saying is absolutely not true. Um, you need to be taking some um, nutrients that helps your nerves, which I'm going to recommend. It's one's called alpha lipoic acid, mm -hmm. and one's uh, vitamin B complex, and they help with your nervous system. Also, there's treatments that are infrared laser treatment that are really helpful. Uh, that about 50% of people get better in about three months or so. Okay, mm -hmm. those are treatments that are available at uh, uh, neuropathy centers, which I'm going to refer you, and you can go over there and talk to them as well. Okay. But I, I recommend you. If you control your diabetes and your sugar level, and also if you take your supplements, then it should help you quite a bit. Okay. And then once that gets better, then, then it's up to you to seek further care with the infrared uh, uh, laser treatment, which is mm -hmm. really to regenerate your nerves. It creates what we call a nitri uh, nitric oxide, which helps to regenerate nerves. Okay? Oh yeah, I've been seeing them on thing on Facebook by nitric oxide. It helps to create the uh, exactly. blood flow. Exactly, and that's what uh, re help you regenerate uh, nerves. Nerves, but yeah, because if they don't get blood, they die. Exactly, that's yeah. That's when they want to start taking the amputation. I wanted to give you this. So here's this, another shoe that he brought. You can see this big toe indentation here and the little toe here. So I'm gonna put a pad here and I'm gonna give you some, uh, give him some extra. Okay. So we can, um, Put it on other shoes as well so it's, it does a lot to take pressure off these areas right here in the big toe especially we put it right there and i'm going to put a second one on top and i'm going to give them a bunch to put them on there so on the other shoes as well so we we'll keep the uh, weight off of these as well okay anthony thank you for sharing your story mm -hmm. thank you for Allowing us to film. Here we go. And right. we'll talk in a couple of weeks. Okay, I okay. want that heel by the next time, right? All right. What's with this swirl? Hmm? Why it keeps swirling up?